Local News 8 in the morning continues. Welcome back. It is now 655. Here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, the Teton Pass will close later this morning. It's closing so the Wyoming Department of Transportation can test some winter safety equipment. The closure will start at 10 this morning and is expected to last about two hours. Number two today marks the year anniversary of the brutal murder of four University of Idaho students. Today, a student led vigil will be held on campus remembering the victims. U of I plans to tear down the house where they found where they were all found as soon as possible. Brian Coburg was arrested and is facing charges for the student murders. And number three, we are just days away from a potential government shutdown. This threat comes as people are getting ready to travel for Thanksgiving. A shutdown would mean TSA agents in Idaho Falls, Pocatello and Jackson Hole would have to work without pay. You can find these stories and more on our website, localnews8.com. And for news on the go, make sure you download that Local News 8 app as well. All right, let's check in on the weather with Jeff Roper. Hey, good morning. Look at this beautiful sunrise for a Monday. This is over the Iona Butte from our tower cam at KIFI. And it is bright to start with. Chilly, 19 is the temperature in Island Park. It's 29 in Driggs, about 20 in Jackson, and 38 in Soto. We're looking at upper 20s in the Mackey, Arco, Atomic City, 24, 25 degrees there. And it's a little more mild as you get into Burley. They've got some winds cooking down there about 20 plus miles an hour right now. Well, they're 14, but they've seen gusts of up to 20 or 25. So we're going to see some breezes today. At the bus stop this morning and for first bell between 7.30 and about 9 o'clock, it'll be about 38 degrees. So there'll be some sun, as you're seeing, and then a few clouds mixed in, and we'll be in the mid to upper 50s for the afternoon. So well above normal for this time of the year. The eight-day forecast puts it into perspective with a disrupting system on it here through Thursday. It's going to be brisk at times today. We start off chilly, 50s, on into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It's going to be in the mid 20s, 48 for Thursday. So the cool down is on and then we get even cooler uh, for the weekend with another system that's going to push things around in there while you're out turkey shopping. It'll be 60 into Pocatello and brisk for the afternoon. It'll be 37 degrees tonight. We're going to hang on to these upper 50s to near 60 degree temps on into the first part of the week and we'll see freezing temps overnight for Thursday and Friday. There's another shower chance that's going to push through here. I'm thinking mainly eastern highlands, western Wyoming you may see some accumulating snows in here for Jackson and our resorts by next weekend. But you've got a long, dry week ahead with above average temperatures. I know that there are a lot of people out trying to get the homes winterized and things taken care of and uh, they're out turkey hunting and shopping and looking for deals. So this will be the week to do it. You don't have any real precip. Just take a jacket with you because it's going to be a little brisk at times with 20 mile an hour winds. It'll be down to freezing tonight and it will be in the mid to upper 50s for the next three days. Thursday, we'll see a few more clouds. It's just a, a slight chance of seeing some drizzle, but it really does stand to reason that the colder air and the uh, snow that we may see at the end of the week will show up on into the mountains, the hills, on into Sunday. So uh, the great Thanksgiving debate <laughs> is on. What kind of turkey is best? You need to defend your opinion, or lack thereof, <laughs> between white meat or the dark meat. 208-534-9957. This is where you holla back at us. We can call it a gobble holler if you'd like at 208-534-9957. Pilgrim, tell us what you like, white meat or dark meat, and why I already know who's going to win this. Do you? You're confident. Yes, as a connoisseur of bird, I know what's best. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, thanks for hanging out with us this morning. Your local news is now available on any of these streaming services and devices.